All right, we're here. Um, my name is Roxy Fada. I work at Artblocks, representing Artblocks Engine today. Excited to be here with Ismail. Uh, first of all, we're speaking about physical one of one of X's, which means one of a kind physical items. Uh, Trauma is doing a lot of that, so excited to speak with Isma today. Um, to get us started, can you tell us a little bit about Trom and how you see the intersection of tech and craft? Yes, so uh, Tram sits at that intersection, and what we do is we pair generational craftsmen, high-end uh, craftsmen with generative artists. We put craftsmanship at the heart of um, tomorrow's creation, and by doing so through physical pieces, that have digital provenance, we actually put a good brand on our space. I believe that our space lacks you know, a, a good brand and by putting craftsmanship at the heart and showing how technology helps preserve our common global heritage, we actually initiate a conversation with a wider audience and we, we start, it's a good start to onboard them into everything that blockchain and the generative technology can do. How important is the generative aspect of what you guys are doing? To me, the, 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 the generative act, uh, um, aspect is, is very important because uh, it's at the heart of the generative uh, manufacturing. That is the vision behind everything we're doing. So um, the one of one of X physicals, I think it's going to be our, uh, uh, it's going to be the future. And we, we want to enable that. So having that technology in order to produce in series unique pieces is very important. You can see in the videos here, the tapestry, the generative tapestry we did with Mac Tweetwee. So Alexis André is very, is known for the friendship bracelets with our blocks. And we went to Aubusson. And in Aubusson, it's a six centuries old um, a region known for, for tapestry, the gold standard in the world. And Alexis was able to uh, directly send the script, build the script that feeds the digital jacquard loom and effectively building in series unique pieces. So uh, every output, every mint then is fed and then we produce this, these tapestries thanks to the um, R-Block technology. Yeah, and there's a lot of beautiful content of uh, a lot of these craftsmen and their studios and ateliers all around Europe. So can you speak to a little bit more about what you guys show to ICFF and what you guys have done with artisans? Yes, you can see here the chairs. So if you are in Paris at Café de Flore on Boulevard Saint-Germain, you're sitting on a Maison Drucker chair. Maison Drucker dates back to 137 years. Uh, so we built with Arendalage an, uh, an algorithm that takes into consideration the constraints of weaving and effectively being able to, to own a unique Maison Drucker chair. And you can have as many designs as possible. And we took this to New York, to ICFF, which is a major design fair. And to me, that is the next, uh, that is the next uh, territory for the generative technology is that we, we, you know, it's on chain but off screen and, th and that's what we're trying to do. I'd like also to ask you about, so what is exactly this, this um, engine and um, how do you work with, with, with brands? Yeah, so I think I've spoken to a number of people t in the last couple days here that don't realize that Artblocks licenses their tech to a lot of different partners, Trom being one of them. Um, Bright Moments is another one. There's examples of projects we've done with 9DCC. So essentially what we have on artblocks.io is tech that allows artists to come on. It's not generative AI, which is something that's important to uh, differentiate in these days, but essentially a artist will create a line of code. They will identify variables in their art that will be different. And each piece, they'll say, I want to make 500 pieces. Each one will be unique. And we find that this is very exciting for digital art collectors, but beyond that, also for people having physical items. So if you think about being able to maintain your individuality within a group and to be able to see and own something that is distinctly yours, but also identify other people who are partaking in the art or who own similar items, this is what we do with our technology and with our partners. So we're really excited to work with Trom and to work with a lot of different partners who are really trying to use the tech in a way that enhances the experience for the 
the already existing audiences of certain brands. So when you think of fashion uh, or different logos that could be generative or different fashion items, we've worked with uh, odd sweaters who trans like use the chromy squiggles to make beautiful knit sweaters. So there's a lot of different things we're doing in different industries. And we think that if the project is uh, interesting enough, the tech is just a bonus. And I think that we see that with all of your projects, which is really beautiful. It's nice for people to know that these are digital concepts that are stored on chain and how they were generated, but they're so beautiful in the end that it's just a cherry on top. Thank you. So um, how do you see the future of um, one of one of X physicals? I think it's the future of shopping. I think all of us are a little bit overwhelmed with seeing the same things or being served the same ads and walking down the street and seeing people wearing the same things or going into homes and things are the same, especially if you're buying something and investing in it. You want to feel that it's distinctly yours and it's that is very special, and that's what we're able to do with Artblocks Engine. Changing the retail world. Yes. <laughs> Classic. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you, guys.